Welcome to the crack house, whorehouse of Kinston, North Carolina. The city crack house whorehouse. Commonly known as the fucking goddamn Kinston fucking motor lodge. Huh? Stupid fuckers talking shit. <laughs> There's the fucking goddamn crack house, whorehouse in Kinston. You see this shit? You see this shit? There's always a sheriff's deputy car here. Fucking always. Every time I come by here, 24 fucking goddamn seven. Cause I'm told a sheriff's deputy owns this fucking place. Get a better view of this place. Hell of trash out the yin yang in this fucking place. This is the fucking goddamn crack house, whorehouse in the city. If you want any kind of drugs you're looking for, it's in one of these rooms has got it. And there's some whores in these places too. I've had whores who try to proposition me, try to talk me to come to the motor lodge and bring my money there. But, I want to show you fucking something. This goddamn sheriff's deputy car is here 24 7. I used to think it was for security. But now, I'm told the owner is a goddamn sheriff's deputy. Man, I think he's high on some fucking drugs. Well, you see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? Well, this is the motor lodge right here. Now, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened to this motherfucking place? Well, the health department finally shut this fucking whorehouse down. And you, and, and you can see by the fence. Now somebody bought this motherfucking place out from the previous owner who was a sheriff's deputy. He wanted to make this place into a historic monument for the city of Kinston. But do you see anything? You see this shit? <gasps> you see this shit? No. The motherfucking place is motherfucking empty. Now Tubi, I'll give him credit. He's made... That one little spot in Kinston on Heritage Street and a block towards Queen, Queen Street. He's got that those places kicking with the chef and the farmer and the boiler room and the tap room and new businesses open, the new taqueria. But let me tell you something, motherfucker. He even he's getting exasperated trying to revitalize this town. Because with all his fucking uh, millions of dollars, Stephen Hill, this city still fucking sucks. We've got an increase in shootings and crime in this fucking city. Walmart had to fucking stop, cl start closing at midnight because they had employees from in the wee hours in the morning walking the fuck out with merchandise. And they were suffering shrinkage. So they had, because, because of the, a bunch of fucking crooks in the city. Get this, the people who work in the city are fucking crooks because the city sucks cunt so badly. They had to shut the walking track down, the hospital walking track down at fucking dusk for fear of violent crime. A preemptive measure. Because they're afraid of people getting robbed who, who, who just came out the walk. So from dusk till dawn, the fucking hospital track is now fucking closed. Tell you how bad this city of fucking kids is really fucking sucks. And you know what? Sears at the mall is closing. Vernon Park Mall. And, I, and I'm told by someone who, work at Bel who works at Belk. 
that they have shitloads of people just walking out with shit because they have can't, can't afford security. Because that fucking mall can't afford to have adequate security. So people are walking out with shitloads of clothes, jeans, merchandise. <laughs> Without paying for the fucking shit. So Stephen Hill, you're trying to re revitalize Kinston. Sucker. He never fucking do it, god damn it. And get this. At the fucking Red Room. I had a, a friend here back in 1993. We were best friends. We were tight. His name is Tony Tony Pinel. But now that he works at the Red Room, he stabbed me in the back like Judas Iscariot. I've seen people smoking dope in that fucking place at the Red Room. They have the they have plenty of video surveillance at the Red Room, but they have places where they can go. And be out of range of the video cameras and smoke and sell the fucking dope. Yeah, I've seen it with my own fucking eyes. They sit sit at the picnic table behind, be, between the back of the red room and the new open ta taqueria, and smoke the fucking dope between shows, bands. They stand on the corner of Heritage, and I think it's North Street. Uh, the opposite corner of where Mother Earth is. And they smoke and sell their dope. I was there. A guy in dreadlocks and three girls. Now, uh, one girl and two guys were fucking passing around a big ass marijuana smoke cigarette. Now, how did I know it was marijuana? Any dope knows how ma fucking marijuana smells. And uh, Chef Steffi Joe Pat. And they saw his brake light turn on. And they got nervous. But. The chef deputy did not turn around, but they hurried, they hurried up and smoked that fucking joint that went, went inside. Two days ago, I was told by, I've been told by many people, they start, uh, the cover charge, if you get, if you get that before 10, you do not have to pay the cover charge. They used to not have a cover charge, but they said they had so many bums and drunks coming up in there begging for money they had to enact the cover charge but someone tell me that was bullshit they had to enact the cover charge because they weren't they weren't making enough money to be able to pay the band but they were letting me in for free until Christy because I'm not a good looking guy told him hey don't stop letting him in for free she's a lesbian of course this is her and me back in the year 2000 measuring her arms. This is her. Can you believe that fucking shit? And the bouncer, Tony, who used to be my best friend. If I was one of his true friends, he would sneak me in. But he refuses to do so now. So he's my enemy now. Goddamn Judas Iscariot back fucking stabber. Oh well, nothing good can last forever. Goddamn backstabber. Fat fucking 300 pound tub of lard motherfucking hours, fuck. And not only that, he told me, hey, you can't measure girls' arms here anymore. And I'm like, why? Because so he said, some vague management said you're not allowed to. Who? He, w he refused to tell me. So he does not, he has, he has, I demand loyalty for my friends. And he is selling me down the river. So he's my enemy now. I hate him. Because it, it is a slap in my fucking face. Especially when Club and Goldboro, Heroes, and the Flying Shamrocks. Oh yes, when I first went there I expected to pay the cover charge five dollars, but... It wasn't long before both clubs, after they heard me sing karaoke, stopped charging me to come in. So what Chrissy is saying by charging me is, you're not a good karaoke singer ever since I had this goddamn stroke. And really, I can't blame them.
And Stephen Hill, the owner, even lets me measure arms in the red room. But hey, they want to treat me. Oh, I was telling the story. Me and two uh, members went in, and it was uh, between 9 and 10. The, uh, the first two showed their membership cards, and they were let in without having to pay the cover charge. I saw my membership charge, they said $3, and I'm like, your bouncer just told this other guy that they were here before 10, they got, they, there was no cover charge. I heard the bouncer say it, Tony Pinel say it. He said, let me talk to Chrissy. No, you gotta pay $3, because I'm disabled. I wonder if I can file a lawsuit against them for discrimination against the disabled. But what, what I can do is continually expose how Stephen Hill has renovated and bought up shitloads of property. But Stephen Hill, with all his fucking millions of dollars, still, he's all, all he's done is made one spot on Kinston shine brightly. But the rest of Kinston still fucking sucks motherfucking cock cut dick. And businesses are still folding like a motherfucker in this motherfucking town. Guys, Kinston fucking sucks fucking cock dick pussy twat. And Stephen Hill, sucker, she'll never fucking do it. I, I, I was voting for you when you used to let me into the red room before you, before you enacted that goddamn cover chart and before you... Starting making me pay. Oh, Chris, you're not any more special than anybody else. I know that's the theory. God damn it. Until I get, can get, be the good looking guy with the longer arms looking young, God damn it, I demand special treatment. And I will get, or I will find a way to bring your goddamn ass down. I've already reported the drug activity to the DEA. And the fact that bartenders don't check IDs. The IDs I checked at the door, and after that, I've seen people there who are under 21 buy beer because they don't have they don't have a armband that distinguishes distinguishes between underage and overage. So I've seen them serve the people who I knew were fucking 20 and 19 years old. The Red Room. This is Kinston's next great hope to go from being a not to being hot. They go, they go. Are y'all running to the Red Room tonight? Yeah, but we'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there. I, tried, I went in there last to get this. They said, uh, you know, they, there's no comfort charge before 10 o'clock. Okay, I went there, uh, me and two guys who were members. Uh, at nine, between nine and ten, they, the other the other two showed them their uh, membership card. They were letting three. I showed them my membership card. They said three dollars. I'm like, about to just told them that if you in before ten, no cover charge. Yeah, sorry, Let me talk to Chrissy. Then she's, you know, yeah. that cunt. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not, no, I'm not sorry. She is a cunt. I said three dollars. So I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to, I'm see if I can sue them for discrimination because just guys, I had, a, I have, had, had a stroke and woke like a retard. They, they, they say I scared the, their, their clientele away just because I'm disabled. I, I will, can sue them for discrimination. Here's the cop. Hey, just, just videotaping right cat. Oh, sorry, not gonna get you. But anyways, <laughs> that red room. I've seen some dope smoking going on there. Yeah, not tonight though. You know, but I've seen it in the past. You no, know, between that taqueria and that, uh, you know, t table, and on the corner of North, on the opposite side, uh, uh, corner opposite of uh, what you call it. Damn, what's that beer? Mother Earth. Seen them deal drugs, you know, a guy, guy with 
dreadlocks, two guys, two white guys, and a white girl. Yes. yes. When, when was this? Uh, this was about uh, two weeks ago, or so. And now that, you know, and now because I have a stroke or whatever, they uh, they they said I've heard if you go before ten o'clock, they don't charge you the cover charge. So I tried that. Me and three people were in. All three of us sold our membership cards. The two were let in, you know, free. They tried, they told me three dollars or you don't get in. What's up, Ledger? Is that discrimination? I uh, she's the one who. I, I need to tell, talk to Stephen Hill. He's the owner. He's telling me I got I did a good Doritos commercial, and his staff treating me like this. This, forgive my language, pisses me off. Right. Well, check what Stephen says. I'll see you later. Right, Don't. Care, I'll try my best. Yes. Oh, you say, Chris. What you're doing is a good way to get yourself shot and killed. Because everybody hates a snitch. Glad you figured it the fuck out. Since I'm too chicken shit to kill myself because the doctors cannot get rid of this fucking... Something's terribly wrong. In my sinuses, in my head, in my neck. Something. Maybe I can... As I was saying... So something's terribly, terribly wrong. My sinuses, on top of my head, my neck, with this goddamn ring in my goddamn ears. And the doctors cannot cure me. Since I'm too chicken shit to fucking do this. Maybe I can end up doing something that will get myself killed. Get someone else to kill me so that I, I can die, not know exactly when the moment is coming, so I just can get lucky one and suddenly someone's putting a cap in my ass and I'm dead and I can die without knowing it. And besides, if I'm not a good, until I'm a good looking guy with those longer forms and looking. 19 in my 20s I will get special treatment or else I demand it I don't I do not ask for it I, I demand it make me feel special so I can deceive myself into believing I'm a good looking guy and I'm hell the new having power is infinitely better Tend to lack the power of being pussy and know that you're a fucking pussy.